create this super cute little piglet drawing, you're going to need some plain white paper, a pencil, an eraser and a black pen. We're going to start off with a nice and easy oval shape just here towards the left hand side of the page. So just very carefully, just sketch out an oval shape. This doesn't have to be perfect, these are just preparatory shapes just to help us draw the actual drawing of the piglet. So here we go. Just a nice oval shape, just like that. And don't press too hard because we're going to be rubbing it all out afterwards. So next to this oval shape, we're going to be drawing a circle. So do it in line with this oval shape. So the same kind of height. So here we're going to start the circle. This is going to be the piglet's head. Now the circle is not going to be quite as tall as the oval shape. So I think the top of the circle is going to stop about there. So let's just draw a circle. You can draw around something if you like, or if you like, you can check out my video on how to draw a perfect circle. There we go. Next, we're going to add the little snout. So from this circle, we're going to be drawing a line just diagonally downwards. It's going to come up then it's going to join up that circle again, just like so. Now we're going to do the ears. So just here, line coming up and it comes down. Try not to make a pig's ear out of it. Ha ha, sorry, dad joke. And then we're going to do the other ear just coming out from behind here. We're going to join up this circle to this oval shape. And remember, if I go too quickly, just hit pause and rewind if you need to. There we go. I'm also going to join up the circle and the oval shape down here as well. Now we're going to be adding the legs. So I'm going to start off with the front one. So you see this line here, halfway in between the oval and the circle. I'm just going to draw a little dot. So coming straight down, I'm going to draw one of the one of the legs. So we're going to draw a line to the left and then a slightly diagonal line back up to hit this oval shape here. Just like so. I'm going to do the same for the other one, the other front leg. So just peeping out from behind here. And then we're going to go inwards, just like so. We're now going to do the hind leg. Coming out from this oval shape, we're going to draw a very slightly curved line. See what I mean? Also going to draw a diagonal line coming out from here. I'm going to join up these two lines, just like so. And then we're going to draw the lower part of the leg coming down. I'm going to make sure that these two are kind of in line with each other. So I'm just going to draw a line horizontally across there. And now for the other hind trotter. So here line coming all the way down and across like that and last but not least we're going to add the little eye before we get to the next step so please carry on in pencil I'm just going to do it in pen just so that you can see it better on camera okay so we're going to start off with the cute snout and this is just a shape like this there we go we're going to add in the nostrils, so one here and another one on the other side that you can just about see. We're going to finish off with the mouth just down here. And it kind of looks as if the little piglet's smiling. So it comes down and comes inward again. And then the lower lip. And then we're going to draw this coming round and down. We're then going to do the top part of the snout, so just coming up from here, go upwards, and then just to, it's got very, very kind of light fine fur, so I'm just drawing some little wispy lines just like this to show that it's quite furry, very, very soft fur, going all the way across here. Did you know that pigs are extremely intelligent and that newborn piglets can learn to run to their mother's voice? And also they can recognize their own names by only two weeks old. I did not know that. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be doing this other ear here. So come up here and inwards. 
going to do the same on this side. So just do this ear upwards. And they've got quite distinctive shaped ears, so I've got to get this bit right. Okay, and some little fluffy bits inside, just like that. Now we're going to be drawing the eyes. So just here, drawing an eye coming up. Like that. Comes around. And then the eyelid. Some little eyelashes. And then the eye. And then just the top eyelid here. Just like so. We're going to add some wrinkles to this cute little snout here. We're going to carry on with the bottom of the head. So did you know what inspired me to do this tutorial on a piglet? I don't know if you've seen in the news, but here in the UK there was the case of the Ollerton 11 they were called. And it was a mother sow had escaped from a farm and had gone into the woods to give birth to her 11 little piglets, so they were called the Ollerton 11. Such a nice story, they got saved by um, an animal rescue charity, so they're now free, thank goodness. Right, I'm going to do the little trotters now. This is a little hoof, a little bit at the back, and then we're going to carry on with these little kind of sketchy lines coming all the way up. You can see what I'm doing, I'm just doing a series of just little dashes really, all the way up to about there. Now I'm going to do the other one, peeping out from behind here. going to do the hind leg so from here starting just a little bit higher than this oval shape that we did I'm going to be drawing these furry lines again and they come down there we go little hoof here and then it comes up and we hit the ankle, that's what this part's called. Doesn't look like our ankles, but you know what I mean. And then following all the way up here, just going to be following the oval shape that we did before. Till we join it up. And then for the tummy, again these furry lines. And then for the other little leg, poking out from behind here. We're just going to colour in the, the mouth area here. Did you also know that the term to sweat like a pig, it's not true because they have very few sweat, sweat glands, sorry I can't even talk, sweat glands. <laughs> so they need to wallow in the mud to actually cool down. There we go. Right, little finishing touches. So we're going to add some grass down here, this little piglet's running around in the grass. So let's just draw some more grass here, like this. So let's get rid of these pencil marks and if you haven't gone over it in pen already, go over it in pen and then get rid of the pencil marks. So I've erased all the pencil marks and now we're going to add some shadow just to make it look really realistic. So just using a series of straight lines going diagonally from the top right to the top left. I'm just drawing some lines going down here just to show the shadow. Then I'm going to do the same just down here as well. Just to show that this area is all in shadow. You can make it a little bit darker by going in the other direction. This is called cross hatching. There we go. Just like that. A couple more areas just underneath the tummy area, just here. Make it a little bit darker. And on the hooves, just here. There we go. And just behind here, I'm just going to draw a few little lines. And behind the ear, just to make it look a little bit more realistic. I'm also going to draw a few little hairs here. And then a little bit of shadow underneath the piglet, so just here. Drawing some more shadow just to show that it's standing on the grass here. 
This helps make the drawing come to life. So if you add some shadow, it makes it look more 3D and it gives it a bit of texture as well. So we've always got to add something down the bottom. There we go. There we have it. And there's our finished little piglet. So if you enjoyed drawing this little piglet, why don't you draw its mother? Which you'll see the video just here. Click on the link now.